Hey, good morning, Mason. A uh, quick demo video for you for your 89 Fallen Saber or for your Fallen Order. Um, this was previously installed. It just had a shorter chassis in it that had a static battery with a recharge port. You had sent it to me and wanted my chassis with a removable battery, so that's what we did. Um, I did switch up the uh, tactile switches on the inside just for something that fits my chassis. Um, bad news is I could not uh, salvage the chassis because it broke when I was taking it out. Uh, there was some glue in there that I had to clean up um, even after I took this greedly off down here and loosened the chassis retention. Uh, it was still stuck in there pretty well. And then uh, trying to salvage the old parts to put in the new chassis, um, I was not able to recover the speaker because again it was glued in there pretty good. Um, it had a lot of chassis PLA material left on it when I tried to take it out. It just wasn't a good thing to use, so I, re I replaced it. All right, um, so now you've got a Smuggler's Outpost 28 millimeter. Um, this is the Elite version of the speaker, so it sounds really good. Um, you got a removable battery set up now, so we got that here. I chose not to weather this guy up, though, um, because the, uh, the Sabre itself wasn't weathered, so I didn't want it to clash. If that's something that you want, I can do that real quick before I send it out. Just let me know. It doesn't take but a few minutes, but I went with a clean look here. Um, I did reuse your profi board. So easy access to your SD card and your micro USB. Um, I did get the Kyberphonic Survivor bundle on here that you sent me. So there was nine colors and also the nine blade styles that you sent to match those, those fonts are on here as well. Uh, a copy of the config file is on your SD card. And then separately, um, since there were a lot of fonts on here before, I put them into a backup folder. Uh, let me know if you want that. I can send that to you. It's no problem. Okay, so I did reuse your stock V2 in here. Um, reused your board, but then I replaced everything else. All right, still a two button setup. So this will be your activation. This bottom tactile down here will be your auxiliary. We'll go ahead and we'll throw a blade or a battery in here. Anytime I do these early in the morning, uh, I trip over my words a little bit because I just don't think I'm quite awake yet. But that battery snaps in there nice for you. And then you can put your handle right on. Screw that down. Just a few threads, no biggie. But we'll lock that handle down. As you can see, your ring right here still is in line with your main blade and your greebly, so everything is good to go there. Turn this off and hit power. This is on the green one because I was doing a lot of testing before I ever did this, but I believe the first one is blue. Uh, just hit auxiliary to change sound fonts. I gave you twist off and then this takes a one inch diameter blade. So we'll throw a blade in here real quick. All right. It is a pretty snug fit. I've uh, sanded my blade quite a bit. You probably already know the deal because you have this installed already. Magenta. Blade lockup is holding down the ox and hitting the saber. I don't remember what that's, or I, I can't read what that says. Purple. The red. This particular blade color red is something I like to show the blaster bolt deflex on. I think it's very easy to see on camera. It's easy to see blade lock up right here. Of course, it will move up and down the blade according to how you move the saber, right? Yellow. Probably one of my favorite colors for a blade. 
with Flash on Flash. Blue. So now we're kind of at the beginning. But this saves where you're at, right? So if you stopped on yellow last time and you took your battery out, put it back in next time, you'll begin on yellow. Cyan. This is also a really cool Jedi color. Green. Green's a classic. These are all really good colors, really. Probably my two favorites would be green or yellow. I think we're back at, at the beginning where we started, but just like that. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll take this blade out and go over taking the battery out as well. Easy to do. We'll just back up that blade retention screw a little bit and pop the blade out. Come over here and take the handle back off. Um, I did not glue down your board. Uh, your board was glued down to the previous chassis, um, so I cleaned all that up off your board. Uh, there was still a little bit of residue left, which made the board a little bit thicker. Um, on the battery, take it out from the positive side by the speaker, just like that. Um, it did make it a little bit thicker, so what I did here was just a nice press fit down into the chassis. All right, and that's never going to move on you, but in the future, if it needed to be popped up, it can. All right, so just a press fit there, um, and that is basically your fallen order. Uh, let me know if, uh, if all that makes sense to you and I'll try to get this out in the mail to you today. All right. Thanks, man.